I'm nervous. Like, I have not made a video in months. A lot's changed. This is so. Woo! Knock the dust off. What is up, guys? Coach Joe, and I am no longer in the lion's den. This is actually my home gym, garage, De La Swole. And it's kind of crazy, things come full circle. The Grindhouse was the original garage gym that I started in 10 plus years ago before I ever got bigger on social media, before I ever had a physical gym location, the lion's den, all that crazy stuff. So it's a bit nostalgic to be back here, uh, but feels good, feels good. Uh, we'll kind of dive into things. And with this video, it's gonna be a little bit longer. Okay, we got a lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on. There's not gonna be much training footage or any footage. It's just gonna be me and you talking, real talk, vulnerability, and kind of just giving you an update with where I'm at, and where we're going together, because that's what this whole thing is about. You know, our relationship, growing, molding, shaping, taking on adversity, overcoming adversity, getting better and getting after it. So yeah, I guess the biggest thing in the last couple months of my life is that I closed a huge chapter, right? I ran the Lions End Gym, which started in 2016 and officially closed uh, at the end of June. So huge chapter. I mean, I poured my life, my soul, my being, everything into that place. It was my, my dream, you know, for that duration of time. There are so many amazing people that came there that I met, that dropped in, that we did competitions with. I mean, just, just such an amazing place. And I think what made that place so unique and amazing was the community uh, that was fostered and created there. It was unlike anything that I've ever been a part of. And I was able to take things from different gyms that I worked at or I went to and make it my own and a unique experience. So I'm just forever grateful uh, for that place. I, I will always, for the rest of my life, have a special place in my heart for the lion's den. And, you know, man, it's it's been a while. It's been a wild ride. And for those of you that have maybe been following me since the garage days, or maybe, you know, when the den started, or maybe in the middle of the den, it's just so many videos, you know, so many memories, so many PRs, so many exciting things. And I'm just going to hold on to that, you know, for the rest of my life. But, you know, as life goes on, things change, right? Our visions change, our goals change, what we want to do with our life changes. And for me, it was at the point where I knew I needed to do something else, okay? That chapter for me was coming to an end. That's just, that's just what it was. Uh, so I'm not going to go into too many details on, like, reason why I closed it, other than the fact that it just needed to happen. And it was a stepping stone to get me to where I'm heading next. And I'm really excited about, you know, the future. Some of it's still unknown, but I just have really good vibes and good feelings about what's to come. You know, there's opportunities that have been presented and I'm just taking this time to kind of process everything. You know, I've been getting back into training, which we'll talk about in a minute, like at, at a serious level. And I've just been enjoying that so much. Uh, but, you know, if you've done something or had a career, that was basically my entire 20s. So I'm 30 now, but I started that whole vision and journey when I was about 22 years old. So like eight years, almost my, my entire decade of my life uh, was devoted to that. You just want to take some time. You want to take some time to process everything, feel those emotions, and you know, then have the roadmap kind of moving forward. But you don't want to rush that. You don't want to rush that period. I think I've either rushed that in the past or I didn't process things long enough as they should have been processed and I jumped the gun. So you know, this has kind of been the remainder of my summer has just been getting settled, you know, processing what has happened, uh, and moving forward. And like I said, that place is just such a special place in my heart. The people are amazing. I still keep in contact with a lot of the people and I'm always trying to do whatever I can to help level those people up in their journeys because that's my sole driving purpose is just to help as many people uh, as I possibly can. And before we move on, I just wanna say thank you so much to everybody who's been a part of that. Like I said, whether you dropped in, whether you came to a strongman competition, whether you were a member in any capacity, you guys watching these videos help support that business with uh, the financial monetization of this channel, you know, anyone who's ever purchased programs, all that kind of stuff. I just, it just means so much. So, you know, as I process, I keep saying the word process. Every time I say we're process, drink your pre-workout or whatever beverage of choice that you would like to drink is gratitude, right? I just, 
just keep thinking about how grateful I am, you know, with the, the coaches that I had, the people a part of that, uh, just in every aspect, you know, I was able to do something at such a young age that a lot of people didn't have the opportunity to do. So just overall, just filled with gratitude, um, but equally as excited to move on to something bigger, something greater, using all the knowledge and experience that I had with the physical location to just amplify myself as a person, as a coach, uh, and just grow to that next level. Like that, that's what it's all about. So kind of changing gears, right? As you notice, okay, we're in my, my home gym, my garage gym, and maybe at some point I'll put a video out. Uh, but I've been getting after it with training. There's been a period, I would say the last year or two years-ish, where I was kind of floating around with different ideas of training, what to do. Uh, I also had a lot going on in terms of running a physical gym location, being a high school lacrosse coach, having another part-time job, doing the online stuff. I was getting pulled in so many directions. And when you get pulled in so many directions, it's hard to really excel at one of those things, right? You're kind of making minor gains in a bunch of, of pots. Um, but for me, that became very stressful and training kind of fell on the wayside a bit where I was just kind of doing maintenance stuff uh, where I'd go back and forth with ideas, but it was tough to compete because I know what it takes to be a top level competitor. And with everything I was doing, like that prep was just not feasible. Um, but now kind of having this fresh, clean slate and a lot of things off of my plate, I've been able to just get back that fire to train. And there's just something about being in this garage that's just gritty. And it reminds me of, like I said, the 10 or 12 years ago when we would be running up and down the streets with kegs, doing like Zach Evanesh underground strength gym workouts. Like that's in my blood, right? I'm a meathead till the day that I die. So my main focus was I want to get back to training consistently. So I was doing hypertrophy. So this is coming up on like eight or so weeks of two mesocycles of hypertrophy work just to get myself consistent, acclimated, uh, you know, getting everything in line. And, you know, I think moving forward, I'll probably head into some strength phases and, and possibly compete again. You know, I, I love competing. I love the sport of strongman and strength sports in general. It's always going to be a part of me. At this point, I'm going to bring a new athlete, right? New chapter, new me, new athlete. I just want to go in. I want to have fun. Uh, the expectations are only of myself and where I'm at. I'm not trying to have others' expectations get into my brain or think about what I was in the past. I'm just worried about right now. So that's kind of where we're at with training, you know, and, and throughout videos that I'll show, you'll see how I'm utilizing the garage gym and the equipment that I have because obviously I went from having a big 5,000 square foot gym, lots of toys, bells and whistles, to then back into a two car garage. So you gotta find a way to be efficient with your space, the time that you have and the equipment that you have available. But you know, I got ball strong when I was young, younger, uh, training in here and I didn't have any of that stuff. So now it's like, I, I, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving seeing what I can do with what I have. So that's kind of my training approach. And I, I have some training footage that I've been taking throughout the week that I'll do some training updates. And if you guys are on my Patreon, I put up uh, my whole entire meso cycles. So you guys know what I'm doing. You know what the program looks like. Some of you guys are following along. That's awesome. Um, but then when it comes to just where I'm at in general, I've switched gears taking more of a health conscious approach for the long term. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or Patreon, I talk about some of the issues that I've been facing. You know, I, I had some hormone problems uh, and just some other things that I've got, you know, looked at through blood work. And, you know, I don't know if it's normal, like when you're around 30 or maybe it's between like 35, 40, you just start to think about things differently, or at least I am. And I want to be around for the long haul. I still want to be strong as balls, right? But I also want to have a, a healthy heart, okay? A healthy body, healthy mind. So I'm taking a way more holistic approach to my training in the gym, my nutrition, right? My habits and, and lifestyle, just so that I can be around for the long haul. And I understand that my peak of my strength training career, right, isn't, it is probably somewhere between 30 and 40, right? But I wanna be relevant for, like I said, the long term. I wanna be like a Dave Tate, right? Guys who are still bringing value uh, and it's far after their, you know, peak strength days. Cause you see so many people who that's all they chase and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It's just my goals are a bit different where I wanna make sure that, you know, if I have kids, I can play with my kids. Right, I can go out and play with my dog, my friends, 
you know, I can keep my, my levels of everything in check um, while still attaining the goals that I have. So just taking more of a health conscious approach and we'll talk more about that in later videos, you know, how I'm doing my training versus the past and now, nutrition, past versus now, you know, just being more aware of my health metrics, right? Getting regular blood work done uh, and, you know, all those little variables that are going to give me more likelihood to stick around for the long haul. So that's kind of kind of where we're at uh, in terms of body composition wise. I'm in a cut. The heaviest I ever was about 285. Right now, I'm just around 250. So I did, I've been doing a cut for eight weeks with a nutrition coach. I'm actually learning a lot about nutrition as well so I can better serve myself and others. And my goal is to get around 240 by the end of this cut, probably maintain that weight for a good bit and then decide based on, you know, once again, blood work, uh, performance metrics, all that kind of stuff if I wanna go down even more or if I wanna stay where I'm at. And on top of that, I also been doing a lot more running, right? We talk about heart health. I've been running four or five days a week. I talk about that on my Patreon as well, I'll give the whole program of how I outline my running programming as well as my uh, strength work. So. Pretty cool, pretty big shift, uh, but that's all, like I said, that holistic approach to just be an athletic strength monster, right? A lean, mean strength health machine. We're gonna add that health in there uh, when it comes to that little slogan, but that's kind of the update where things are at. And moving forward, right, it's always important to talk about kind of where we're heading. I got some collabs lined up, which I'm super stoked about, so I'll be out at Elite FTS, and depending on when this video comes out, uh, two weeks. So you'll see me back on the Table Talk podcast, gonna be filming uh, with Dave Tate and their crew. It's gonna be phenomenal. I've been talking to Juji, getting back out to see Juji. I got Dr. Mike and the RP Strength crew lined up. So getting back in it. And I think that's tough uh, with where I've been, with all these ebbs and flows, ups and downs. And you know, I'm always trying to be real and transparent with you guys. Like I notice that I've been all over the place you know, there are circumstances that didn't necessarily help that, right? We have mental health. Uh, we have just work in general, stress in general, pressure from other people. For me, you know, it's just about being consistent, putting out content that I enjoy, that I know is going to bring you guys value. And uh, that's just me just trying to get back on that saddle. It's a little bit intimidating, right? Like you, you work good at something for so long or you're known for something for so long. And then you kind of take a break and you think it'd be so easy to just hop back into it, but I haven't touched this camera in months, right? So I'm like, I'm like nervous. I'm like nervous to be on here. I'm nervous to be using the camera uh, and start kind of getting back to building my confidence with how things used to be and how regular it was, but also understand this is a new chapter. This is a new me. I don't have to have these preconceived notions of who I once was in the past or what my PRs were a couple of years ago, blah, blah, blah. And I think that's something that people think about, but they don't necessarily talk about, especially on social media, right? We're always in this uh, highlight reel, or it's always PRs, it's always good, we're always crushing it. When I talk to guys all the time, you know, big time people, you guys probably follow or subscribe to, right? We all have these ups and downs, and maybe we wanna to talk to it to our close friends, uh, but something that always has been important for me is being able to communicate that stuff with you guys, because listen, I'm a flawed individual, I'm not perfect, I've made plenty of mistakes. Equally, I've done some really awesome things and I've achieved some really cool things that I'm proud of, uh, but I'm a human being, okay? I'm a human being. I'm 30 years old, had a, a big career change or a life change, and that's, that's just, that is life, right? We gotta figure out what to do next, where to go from here, and sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's nerve wracking and our confidence is a little bit low, but you know, I'm just trying to get back after it day by day step by step and document that journey, all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, we're in it together. That's what this whole channel was built off of. It's, it's, this channel is a journey, right? Go back to my original YouTube videos from 10 so years ago, right? We got a thousand, a thousand and a hundred videos on this channel, right? Documenting someone who started as a teenager all the way till 30 uh, and it's just cool, it's cool to see. And, that, and that's why we can relate, right? We all feel these things, whether it's with our work, our relationships, our training. You know, it's way more than just the gym, although we love the gym and we'll die in the gym. Uh, there's, there's other things that can be talked about. So, very fired up. The fire is back. 
You know, we're going to crush these collabs, putting out content, and uh, I'm just pumped. I'm excited. You know, I feel better. I feel like I look better. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good day. Uh, if you guys can, I really would appreciate your support by liking the video, right, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, and then there's other ways to monetarily help me out. Obviously, with closing a gym and other things, okay, I'm figuring all that out. So, you know, money is important. And if there's any way that you guys can provide value, it means the absolute world to me, whether that's buying programs, uh, subscribing to the Patreon, which is $10 a month. I put a ton of behind the scenes content, like everyday thoughts that I have. We focus on pillars of obviously the, the physical body, but also the mind and then emotional stuff when it comes to mental health. That stuff I don't put anywhere else besides on the Patreon. I feel like for the 10 bucks a month, which is the equivalent of one Starbucks coffee, that month's worth of content could 10x your gym, your life, like whatever experience you're going through for $10, I feel like I'm delivering an insane amount of value on that Patreon. And all that does is support me to be able to keep doing this stuff, which in turn comes back to you. Uh, the other thing is we have the training app or the programming app, which I have five or six programs that I'm going to be putting on that app. Uh, so if you guys are on there, there's a monthly subscription and a yearly subscription. It means the absolute world to me. Highly recommend you guys check out the training app. There's also a la carte programs on the website. Um, and hey, if you can't do anything monetarily, I totally get it. Just simply watching this video, commenting down below, sharing it, like that, that's huge amount of support. Okay, that, that means so much to me. And guess what? If you don't want to support, that's fine too. Like, I don't do this like really looking for something. I do this because I just want to help you and help people. And I, I understand my message may not be the message that clicks with you. Um, and that's okay. Uh, but I'm just here to help you guys. The only other thing before we end this video is what kind of content do you guys want to see? Who do you want me to collaborate with? Put it down below in the comment section. What are you excited for in this new chapter? Things to come. Uh, if there's going to be a ton of questions about the gym and the gym closing, that kind of deal, I'm not really going to pay much attention to that because that's the past. This is the present. I'm looking forward to now and the future. And like I said, it's just a new chapter for me. Okay? That's, that's really the only reason to it is in my heart. It's something that I knew that I need to do to get myself down the road. Uh, I think there's a lot more freedom with not having yourself tied down to a physical location. And there's more benefits in the sense of how I can grow my career and influence and help way more people than I was doing uh, with that location. So, you know, please just also be aware and cognizant, like I'm a human being, I have feelings. Uh, I don't think we have a, a ton of negative haters or bad blood on this channel and I, hopefully I'm not inviting them. And if they do, you guys can get on there and bam, bam, boom, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, I just don't have time for that, right? Positivity and like kindness and, and just full strength, <laughs> right? Be, be positive, be kind and be strong. With uh, those are kind of like my life principles. If you guys can, you know, like I said, support in any way, shape, or form means the absolute world to me. And outside of that, I am just fired up. I'm excited. I'm so grateful for all my subscribers, me getting back on here. Bear with me. The videos will get better as I get more comfortable and confident and just kind of get my creative flow back because it's been some time. Uh, but I know it's coming. And uh, yeah, no, it feels good. feels really good. Really good. So thank you guys so much. As always, stay in lead, mean, strike machine. Catch up with you later. Peace.